Hello guys, today we want to make a tutorial. Today we will dream. We will dream of grease pencil future. Today we will imagine a grease pencil that supports shape keys and that can be controlled using drivers and bones and armatures. So to demonstrate my dream, I will use a mesh to demonstrate what grease pencil would be able to do if it can support in the near future i hope shape keys so let's delete our cube as usual without any remorse and then we will hit shift a and add a curve we could just add a mesh a circle mesh but i want to add a curve because curves can be edited just like grease pencil strokes well actually this video is not just a dream but it can be a work around what we will learn here can be used to make uh, maybe a hybrid rig part mesh and part grease pencil so if you go to edit mode here with this curve you can see that it can be edited just like grease pencil strokes we can select one point here and hit e to extrude and create any shape we want this is how a curve can emulate grease pencil strokes so let's delete this object here and instead let's add a circle i will add a curve circle to show you how you can turn a curve to a mesh later see we have this uh, handles here let's go back to object mode go to object convert and convert to mesh back to edit mode let's hit one on the keyboard let's hit a to select all the points and then hit r and then x to rotate it on the x-axis and then 90 to rotate it 90 degrees and to turn it to a flat surface we just hit f while selecting everything and now we have the surface here now i want to create a face using this circle enable the x here mirror editing enable also this guy here it's called proportional editing you can hit o on the keyboard to enable it too now let's select a vertice here and hit g on the keyboard and start moving it and because mirror editing is activated here we will be able to edit the opposite points of this face and have symmetry in our shape you can while dragging uh, use your uh, mouse wheel to make the circle bigger or smaller and change the area that is affected by the proportional editing i think this is good so here is our shape now let's go back to object mode and let's go here to object data properties and here to shape keys let's add one shape key this shape key will be called basis and that means it is the initial shape of our mesh and now we need to create more shapes first shape is the head turning to the left left is the left of this face and not our own left let's add one more shape key let's call it left and let's go back to edit mode Why selecting this shape key here and now we try to alter this shape to make the face look to the left okay so g here we need to disable this guy the x symmetry and this here looks like this maybe this here like this so simple stuff let's go back to object mode and now we have this value here zero means that all the influence is taken by the basis shape but if you drag it to one you see that the influence is transferred to our new shape key this value here can be keyframed and also you may have guessed can be used with the driver the next shape we want created here with the plus but we will select our second shape and then hit this arrow here and hit this one new shape from mix but before we hit this button we need to have the shape that we want so the full 100 percent left this one when we create now the shape from the mix we will create the same left shape here so new shape from mix if we now drag this to zero and this to one you see that it's the same shape as left we will call it right <coughs> and there is a magic key here so select it and then click the arrow and this guy here mirror shape key and voila now we have the shape key looking to the right and this is it let's go to edit mode so this is the first one and this is the second one i think everything looks fine now we will add two more shape keys again back to object mode so one to the top and the other one to the bottom back to edit mode let's edit the top one here so g z 
move it a little bit up here let's enable the x symmetry here g again g and looks like this maybe it's like this okay and now to the bottom one g z and then g z again g and voila let's test it by going to object mode again and so this is the head looking to the bottom and this is the head looking to the top and now we will add drivers and before that we will add an armature so shift a armature <coughs> single bone we could parent it to the head we don't need that for this demonstration we just need this bone here now we will add drivers here so right click add driver then hit escape here maybe we just need to what is the short key control d so just put your mouse here and then control d and then escape again control d escape control d and escape so we have four drivers here now let's open the drivers panel from here drivers okay here are our four drivers here then hit n and go here to the panel for the drivers okay so first to the left we have our var here we don't need this plus zero zero nice now we will choose an object that is our armature and we choose a bone that is the single bone in our armature and we choose a location we want the driver to operate when the bone moves left to right on the x-axis so this is it i guess and instead of word space we will change to local space the local space of the bone but let's check if the x location is what we need really let's select our bone here and let's go here no here to viewport display and display axis here so check this guy here and see the axis of our bone yeah the x is the one we need let's go to pose mode so you see this is the z axis the local z axis of the bone and the y axis will be this one i think i'm going to hit n and lock the z axis because we want the bone to just move on these two axes and not on the z axis so let's lock the z axis let's hit one on the keyboard let's hit n to hide this menu here and let's go back to our drivers back to object mode and select the head the first driver is fine let's go to the second one again x location local space let's select our armature let's select our single bone let's change this to just var and now let's test these two drivers so let's select the bone back to pose mode and let's try to move it you see when i move to the right there is a change but when i move to the left there is nothing and the change is not what we need but it's like both drivers are triggering at the same time and we have this narrowing of the face so what we need to do go to object mode or just i think hit this guy here under edit lock object modes disable it and now you can select the face and then back to pose mode and then back to object mode with the face so this will help us save a little bit of time so let's go to the second driver and change var to minus var okay very nice and now let's select the bone again and move it on the x-axis and now this is the movement we want now let's go to the rest of our drivers so again here remove this guy select our armature select our bone instead of x location we will use y location in local space and then go to the fourth driver remove this guy change var to minus var select the armature select the bone y location and local space i think we are done with the drivers now let's select the bone again and test our animation so to the left to the right to the top and to the bottom very nice amazing isn't it we have a moving 2d face just like that with a few drivers and one single bone no interpolation no complicated rigging like the one i used for my head rig and it wasn't this perfect it didn't look this good just because we didn't have sheep keys see how fast that was to make how easy that was to make and how powerful it is we can do just one more thing for our drivers to make the movement faster duplicate this by five so var by five and then do the same here 
Let's select the bone again and see that we have now a faster movement. This is optional, of course. So this is it. What if I wanted to use this shape instead of using grease pencil? So we can add a line art modifier. So let's hit Shift A, add a blank grease pencil object, and then go to the modifiers of our grease pencil, add line art. Instead of collection, choose object. Select our object, our face here. Select a layer and select a material. And here we are. It doesn't look right. That's because our camera angle is here. Let's change the camera angle, I guess. Select our camera and then Alt R. And then hit 3 on the keyboard. Look for our camera. There it is. I think I'm gonna do rotate X 90 degrees. Alt G to reset its uh, location. And then G Y to move it here. So here's our line art here. Select the bone again and you see we have this magnificent look. If you don't want your object or your mesh to be affected by light, you can use the trick that we used in a previous video. That is to import an image as a plane. Any image you want. Let's use shadeless and no alpha. We don't need alpha. Import image as plane. We don't care about its content. Let's go to the shading panel here. This is the material of our plane. The plane that we important. What we need is this node because this node come only with this plugin. We don't need this image, just delete it, this image node. And could we change the color just from here? Let's have, yeah, a skin color, very nice. Let's go back to layout and choose our object here. Go to materials, choose the material we just made. Let's delete our image and let's go to viewport shading. I think I'm gonna change the color management from filmic to standard. The look from known to medium high contrast, just like we do most of the time with grease pencil. Back to the material, we can change again here and have this beautiful color for our skin. <laughs> and now we have a mesh that looks just like a grease pencil stroke. So you can use this technique to make a hybrid character that can use shape keys and as a bonus that can support shadows so we have a grease pencil or a hybrid character 2d character with strokes with grease pencil strokes with maybe a grease pencil face and eyes and nose and etc and it can cast shadows and even uh, you can use any material with it. Yeah, you can use tune shading or something like that Or you can use this shadeless material and emulate grease pencil So this is it. I hope that I demonstrated the potential That grease pencil can have with cheap keys. I hope it is implemented soon in the future very soon <laughs> So thank you for watching and see you in another video. Peace my friends